Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Big Pharma. This is going to be a new series I'll be doing on my channel. Um, I just want to start off by saying a couple things with the game and the series before I dive too much into it. This is a game by Postjet Games, the same studio that made uh, Democracy 3, which I'm a big fan of. And if you're a fan of my channel, you're probably a big fan of that game as well. I've done um, probably about three or four series in it. They are shorter games, but it, I, I really enjoyed that company and like what they've been doing. So I don't know who, too much about this game. Uh, I know it was kind of in some pre-release state. I don't know whether that was like an early access or like an alpha or something along those lines. But I think this is the release build because it's uh, got a new sale on Steam. And that's basically just like uh, kind of what's been happening in the game or because of what's been happening. I'm actually going to go on the sit, uh, store page right now. That's probably why the audio is cut out for you. But uh, yeah, it was released August 27th and I'm recording this on August 27th. So yeah, this game has just recently come out today until I guess it's final version or it's release version, I guess you'd say. And yeah, I've basically I've just read the Wikipedia um, article about it. I've watched the trailer and I went on the game site itself. And so I don't know too much about like the intricacies of the game at this point, but I'm still very excited to play it. Okay, so there's a couple, I guess these are just different modes. So there's tutorial, which I'll be doing because I haven't played the game at all. You can make a custom game. Um, yeah, I won't be doing that, at least not immediately. And free build, I guess, is just kind of like a sandbox mode. Yeah, full unlock, you start the game with all the machines unlocked, so you, so do your competitors. Interesting. All right, anyway. So we'll go through the tutorial. Ooh, interesting. Are there missions? Like, okay. So basically, I'm probably just going to continue on like this. Um, maybe not. Yeah, maybe that's just how I'll play. So I don't know, like, the difference between intermediate, advanced, and, like, quick start. Start with additional basic technologies and three ingredients. I don't know what any of that means. So uh, hopefully it'll all be, like, it'll be a good progression just following it like this. But anyway, uh, let's dive into um, tutorial. A series of tutorial missions to teach you the basics. Challenges. Drug production. 101. Supply one painkiller treatments. That's like cut off. Oh, okay, it's a scroll bot. It's kind of cut off. All right. So uh, can I move that around? Oh, I can. That's really good. Can I like expand it at all? No. All right. So the tutorial. Goal. Supply one painkiller treatments. Welcome to Big Pharma. It's it's standard procedure for all new employees to go through orientation, even CEOs. That's pretty cool. So I guess I'm the CEO of Big Pharma. Navigation. This is the production tab. Uh, where? I guess this over. Oh, production. Okay. Uh, this, is um, this is the production tab, and the empty plot uh, is the start of your very own pharmaceutical empire. To scroll around the map, either hold right click and drag, or use WASD, or move your mouse to the edge of the screen. I'll probably use WASD because I hate scrolling with the mouse. In every game, like it's terrible. I've never seen it done like in a way that I enjoyed it. But anyway, as your factory grows, you may wish to zoom out to get a better view of things. To zoom in or out, you can either use your mouse wheel or use the page up, page down. Probably use the mouse wheel. Uh, making your first drug. In Big Pharma, you need money to do things like build production lines, expand your factory, and research new technology. To make money, you need to create and sell drugs. Let's make our first drug. On the top right wall of your factory, you'll see an import. So that's, I guess, this. Uh, you'll see an import stuff. Okay, it's, oh, it's got a picture. That's good. Uh, the, this is currently set up to bring steady stream of ingredients into your factory. Later you'll learn how to do this yourself, but for now let's just find uh, more about this particular ingredient. So, uh, no, if you find this tutorial window is getting in the way, in other parts of the GUI, then you can drag around the screen using the top bar. Okay, I've already figured that out. So, okay, you click it to pop it up. Seems simple enough. Is it like a cost or something? Anyway, um, see the two things? These are called effects. The effects come in two varieties, uh, curious and side effects. This ingredient has one of each. Painkiller, which induces nausea. So the nausea is worse than the painkiller benefits. Currently, both are inactive. However, you can activate slash deactivate effects within your drug by changing their um, concentration in the blue tab at the top of your ingredient for. Okay. Okay, so you can kind of alter these in like ways to make the drug better. And I guess that's how much money it would make us at the current production. I don't know. Our goal for this tutorial is to create a painkiller drug. To do this, we need to activate the painkiller effect, changing the ingredient's concentration. To achieve this, we need to uh, build a production line. Next, hover over the painkiller effects of the concentration bar, you'll find in the bottom of the effect box. So, 
Uh, active range 5 to 12, max strength is 7. Current and active. So I guess I'd activate it with my little run. Uh, note, that the, note that to activate it, we need to increase the concentration to 5. How does it... Oh, active range is 5, so... We can achieve this by using an evaporator machine. Evaporators increase the concentration of that drug and in, in, um, the drug, any drug that enters it by one. Okay, so I guess you're evaporating the water, concentrating it. Makes sense. Uh, build, build one using the menu bar on the left screen. Select the basic toolbar. Select the evaporator. And build and select the evaporator. Rotate the machine with the mouse wheel. Um, or rotate with Q and E. Okay, so left click to place it. If you make a mistake, you can pick it up using the double click. Okay. So, oh, we just want the arrows to match. All right, so. I guess that's how we'd have to work. Oh, okay. 600, wow, okay. So, how do I deselect? I guess like that. Um, you can move ingredients inside the evaporator. We need to uh, connect it with a belt. To build a belt, click, uh, build a belt connecting the sockets to your new evaporator. Right click to deselect your current tool. Okay, that's easier than doing all that. Alright, so... We need the belt. Okay, so I made a belt to... Okay, so it's all going in. Awesome. So I'll give it to see the results. So now it's 5 concentration, which is active. And... Oh, and the, um, this is inactive. Interesting. So it doesn't induce nausea. But shouldn't it? Because it's... Like these pieces, like that's more than six pieces, right? I don't know. Okay. Uh, select your evaporator. Excuse the result. The result. Oh, sorry. Had a weird throat thing there. Notice how the concentration has been increased to five and the painkiller effect is now active. Before we can sell the drug, we need to have it turn into a finished product. For example, a pill. This we can use with a pill printer. To build a pill print, to build a pill printer, uh, right click your current. Right click to clear your current selection. Uh, select the maker toolbar. Pill printer. I guess we can't. Okay, so what if I. No, I want you. I want to rotate you like this. Build a belt like this. And then I guess I'll build a belt from here all the way to there, which seems like very weavy and inefficient. If I kind of knew the mechanics better, I probably would have pasted this sideways here, put the belt there, use this to wrap around and just go over there. But anyway. Uh, okay. I just did that because it costs less, I guess. Play close and the arrows on the machine to make sure the right way to click it. Yep. Red is exit. Green is enter. Just like stoplights. Right? I don't know. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, now to connect your evaporator to the belt instead of placing them one by one, drag lines. I already just placed one. Dragon belts will you your machines quicker. If you make a mistake, remember you can always delete the belts by, right, uh, by using right-click. Finally, finally, to sell our finished drug, we need to export it from our factory. We do this by connecting the production line to any empty socket. Crap. Oh, so I lost money there. Okay, so if you build something and delete it, it's not the same value. Awesome. Oh, it's down here, so I did go the right way. I figured it was this thing up here. Maybe that's something else. So we need to make a belt. Like that. And I guess that already works. Okay, yeah. Oh no, look, there's our pill. Uh, once you finish your drug reaches the socket, you'll be promoted to, prompted to name your drug. The tutorial will complete when you've exported your... Required. There you go. Okay, so it looks like we've completed the tutorial. Tutorial's Pain Buster. Um, let's call it... Let's see. Ass sprain, because I'm four fucking years old. Oh, wait. Don't be ridiculous, Cameron. Come on. It's a product. We're trying to sell this. We need to, you know, name it properly. I hope ass sprain shows up in further tutorials as well. Alright, so we completed it. Awesome. Okay, yeah. Okay, that looks so much better. Sorry, I had it so zoomed in the whole time. So we've completed it. How do we complete the tutorial? Oh, then um, the bottom, go to the minimum button and press lead game. That's weird. They should kind of prompt you to complete it. So you just get a little green? Uh, I figured it would do something cooler. So uh, upgrading cures. Uh, supply one eases migraine treatment. 
Okay, I can do this. Oh, nice, it uses our base factory. Or at least what we've been using so far. This is where we learn how to upgrade cures. Upgrading cures in Big Pharma is crucial to success. Higher level secure, higher level cures attract higher level values, so it's possible to make more money with them. Expanding. Before we can take any more production lines, we need to expand our factory. Click the plop button left of your ex uh, left of your existing factory. Okay, so we can buy I guess this little plot here. It's pretty cheap. I feel like we had plenty of space, but whatever. Now we have something more for, at least more space for production lines. It's time to import another ingredient. Oh, so we'll use this little door here. Uh, import ingredients. To import ingredients, uh, click on the empty socket next to the first socket. Um, this will take you to an ingredients tab. This is where you keep track of all the ingredients currently uh, uh, currently available to you, as well as the initiate, initi as well as initiate expedition to discover new ones. Okay. So this is where you can kind of, oh, so these are explorers like into the jungle to find new treatments. Um, idle explorers earn your ingredient upgrade points. Spend these to reduce the cost of ingredients you have already discovered. Oh man, this is so cool. Like, I know it's like really boring now, me just like kind of blumbering my way through these as I learn the mechanics, but maybe we'll put the tutorial stuff up all in one video and then um, I'll get right into the game, like the meat of it. Okay, this will take you to the ingredients tab. You'll see your first one in, first and only ingredient at the top left of the screen. You will see this uh, familiar painkiller effect on it, but we want to upgrade this to something more valuable, something that our patients will pay more for. We need to exploit the fuck out of those sick people. All good industry games turn you into a monster. I think that's like the overarching, like, not overarching, but like, that's kind of like a, a bit of an appeal of it to me, or like a satire effect almost, like, no matter what industry game you play, you'll always end up making, like, decisions that screw people over to make more money to be better at the game, which is like almost like a commentary on kind of how some businesses are run. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too far on my own ass. Anyway, um, hover over the pink killer effect to see its upgrades. Um, upgrade to eases migraines, prerequisite 7 to 10 concentration. So I need upgrades with an evaporator. So if I use another evaporator, it'll be even better. It tells us that we can upgrade to ease migraines by getting it to a concentration between 7 and 10 and then using an evaporator. Remember that we can use evaporation to increase the concentration of our drug. The current concentration is 4, so we need 3 evaporators to get it up to 7. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Set up a new stream of ingredients in your factory by clicking the import button. I don't see the import button. Oh, nice, you can pause. But I think I'm, yeah, I'm making, I think about 20 bucks right now, so I don't know why I do that. Oh, I hit hire and explore. I guess the tutorial probably on that. So wait, where is this? Is this like out of here? Oh, import. There we go. I'm blind. Um, so I guess we are importing it here now. Upgrading cures. Now is the fun bit. Let's build a production line which will upgrade our painkiller to a migraine remedy. Green to blue. If I played enough, wow, that means it's uh, that means it's going from a uncommon to a rare. So that's always better. Okay, so there's like a little way we could do it. Here's a possible way, but you can design your production line however you want. Uh, remember to build the evaporators to open a basic toolbar. Okay. So I think I can do this on my own. For now at least. Alright, so let's blast over here. So we have basic, we need we don't need that yet. So let's do this. Okay, no, I wanted to rotate, my bad. I wonder if I could have just connected them like that, but maybe not. Okay, oh, right, obviously. The most important one, really. Um, if you want to check on the product progress of your drug, you can select the, uh, the manufacturer by using the left click. This is useful because it lets you see the current state of the drug so you can work on what you need to do next. Before moving on, let's check that we've gotten this right. Select the last evaporating production line. Once it, once it has processed its drug, you should see the following. So evaporator yeah, seven, okay. So it causes, um, the nausea effect is active now. And as is the seven painkiller effect, which makes it, 
uh, yeah, the pre-requirements. Okay. See that if the, the concentration requirements, that tells us that we already to upgrade this cure. Uh, now, now those previous evaporators didn't actually upgrade your cure. They only changed its concentration. Now the concentration requirement is fulfilled. The next evaporator in that process, the process of the painkiller cure will upgrade it. Note that the machine it's in Big Pharma are multi-purpose, so you can use them to change the concentrations of a drug, but also set up the upgrade. Okay. I was wondering, that's like my first thought when I read that. I'm like, so do I have to have a fourth then to upgrade it? Or no, the final one, the final one is all. Build one more evaporator to connect to the rest of your production line. It'll take some time for the drugs to move through the production line. Once they reach the final evaporator, select it with the left click and see the results. Our pain curler is upgraded to ease mine grain. So I do need a fourth? Oh, I'm dumb. I need a pill. I need to make them into pills. That's right, I forgot about that. So... I was wondering actually if I could use the same one, but actually if I connected this here I could. But I think this would look better. So what do we have here? Oh, like I got a little technician. If you want to, uh, if you get bored, oh, I can fast forward. So is it not upgrading? Do I need a fourth? Or because I thought I read it that it does. Oh, so it's worth more money. Um, okay. Active range five to nine, max seven. Max seven. So, okay. Escape gets me out of here? No. How do I get out of here again? Okay, go to the production tab. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, do you need four? Wait, four plus three is seven, yeah. Um, so let's reread that because I think I might have fucked that up. Now these previous evaporators didn't actually upgrade our cure. They only changed its concentration. Now concentration requirements is fulfilled. The next evaporator in the process. Okay, so it has to be the next step. So now that it's seven, the next one will change it. And it will also... Um... It'll also upgrade it, so it'll do both, but it has to be seven for it to actually activate. Okay, I get it now. So did they say how to move things? I forget. Was it like... No. Um, can I get like the old tutorial again? Well, they don't want to delete things. So I need another... Like, yeah, I want to move you. Double click, that was it. God, this is so convoluted. Oh, I, mo I ruined it again. There's not enough room. I'm dumb. This is a disaster. Is that gonna do what I wanted to? Probably not. I wanted to go like this. No, I'm dumb. The exit's over here. Okay. We want to move this over here. Can I move these? No. That's the price of my ADSC. Okay.
I want to, like, remove that nubbin. Why are these drugs going over here and not... Is there, like, a directional thing with it? No, I want you to go... Okay. I want them to converge and then enter. But... No, it's just going to keep forcing them this way. So I need to... Will that work? One, two, three, four. So the concentration is eight and it's upgraded, right? So this drug. Not ingredients, production. I'm hemorrhaging money. Or am I just like a uh, graniation pill? Yeah, it eases migraines. All right, so did we do it? Why is nothing moving? Are they not like exiting? Trying to figure out how to combine them onto the same belt. Maybe that's why they gave us those. Can I rotate? How do I rotate the camera? Like, what, does that look like the same as all the other ones? Probably. I always forget I had to leave here. Well, fuck it. You know what? Probably lost losing like all my money. Thank god this is the tutorial. And we can learn these lessons now. Invalid position. Or is that intake? Tutorial, please help me. I pray to god this works. Yeah, okay, it's working now. Oh, thank god. I am wondering why I couldn't just connect Product them. name required. Uh, tutorials migraine stomper. Because it gave me a headache trying to figure out why. I don't know. Alright, so we completed it. That is awesome. So now we can go and um, leave game, right? Is that gonna, please don't close the window. Okay, no. All right. And I'm sorry if anyone who's familiar with the series is like, oh my God, just place the freaking like conveyor belts. Cause in all the tutorials and stuff, I always see people like, yeah, if you look at all these, like they're kind of going Maybe they're not converging at all, actually, and I'm just full of shit. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the, me struggling my way through the tutorial, please leave a like. It's the first video in the series. It'll really help out. But I do plan on continuing the series and doing more and more of the challenges. And uh, if you do want to watch it, I hope you do. Hope to, see you next hope to see you next time, everyone. Bye for now.